so great. Look at that slow rise. It's so slow, it's not even happening. Bats, I'm back and today we're gonna be checking out some smushy mushies except these are fake before we continue It's pretty obvious that I am sick. Hopefully regular Jen will be back soon the good folks over at smushy mushy What is shaking? <laughs> folks over at smushy mushy decided to send me their latest smushy pals and apparently it's shaking, which is making me nervous. I'm going to compare real Smushy Mushies to some fake knockoff Smushy Mushies. The only difference is gonna be that these are series one because it's hard to fake something that is currently in production. They need it to be passed in order to be able to do it for the most part. I'm not gonna spend too much time on the box because really it's a box. It is shaking though, and that's what makes me nervous. <laughs> oh no, there's snowy glitter. There's lots of it. And Oh, so smushy. Oh, so squishy. That's really cute. There's two separate boxes in here. I'm assuming I'm supposed to open them one at a time because they are separated. Uh, so that's what I'll do. I'm going to take this one out first. Oh my gosh. A whole bunch of stuff just poured out of the bottom. It's not okay. Forget that. What does this even say? It says, these smushy mushy pets have a serious sweet tooth and got stuck in their search for candy yummies. Will you find a rare glow in the dark pet inside? I don't know, but I saw a whole bunch of colored balls falling. Okay, so I'm gonna move that out of the way. This is what's in there. Handfuls of bubble gum covered in glitter. That is super wasteful. Next up, we have another box. This one's covered in the snow. I'm assuming this one was supposed to be the candy and this one the snow. They probably weren't supposed to mix together, but they did in transit. These smushy mushy pets have found a never ending supply of their favorite milkshakes and made new whipped cream besties on the way. It's covered in so much glitter snow, it's disgusting. Okay, I'm gonna tidy this up and then open them. It doesn't tidy, it's like styrofoam little balls. They just keep staticky moving. I don't think Smushy Mushy watches my channel because they would have known not to send me this. Barf! Here are the boxes that were inside. The imaging is so bright and crisp and all four sides and the top are covered in the cutest little characters. It looks like there's series four Creamy Dreamy here as well as series five Sugar Fix. Considering this box just looks like it's dripping snow, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this is the one causing all the chaos and snow that is on my table, which you might not be able to see because the table is white, but believe me, it's here. There's probably more in there, but let's just do it. Oh my gosh, no. It feels so gross. Ah, I got sensory issues. <laughs> it's poofing in my mouth. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, this is gross. It feels terrible. There's so much in there. Oh my, did you see that? I thought this was a box of smushies. It was a box of terrible snow. I hate it. I don't even want to open this now just because. <laughs> Why does smushy mushy hate me? I need a vacuum. <laughs> I'm just going to take these out and try to get rid of some of the snow. I bet you everybody else who reviewed these was so excited. I'm like, wow, this is so cute. They lied, okay? Nobody wants glittery, snowy mess all over their house. They lied, straight up. If you watch anybody else's and they were happy about it, you should unsubscribe. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Okay, I'll be back. Uh, uh, where's the vacuum? Time to get the vacuum. So I clean up snow and it can go. No one likes the snow, especially when it's made from glitter, no. Eight and a half minutes of vacuuming later, we can finally open up these smushies. Time to check out our package real quick. They're all the same, just different colors, so we only need to see one. These are definitely not recommended for children under three. There are small parts, which you could choke on. On the back, we'll see everything that we're supposed to get inside. Our pet, a bestie, a sticker, the actual cup, and a mini version of the cup. And unless they changed things, we'll probably get the keychain and a name tag as well. This is a series four, the creamy dreamy one. We're supposed to have new scents. And we do have a flip and disappear liquid cup, just like the baby bottles that they released last time. Wow, that was so much easier than struggling with paper. And again, these look really cute. So we have pink with a blue plastic bottom and then a whipped cream top with a purple straw. This one is pink on pink with a red straw and this one is green on brown with a purple straw. This reminds me of mint chocolate. Those remind me of nothing. Maybe strawberry and purple blue. Yep. <laughs> Either way, they don't really remind me of a milkshake per se. Um, yeah, I'm gonna open 
any one that I want. Take off the whipped cream, and we have a blind bag, a mini cup. Usually they're identical to the outside cup. This one is not, and our Smushy Mushy Pal is actually in a blind bag too, so that's new. And then we have our checklist slash whatever activity they give us. Anything else in there? Our sticker. Cute and chill. That's kind of cool. Okay, so only this is tinted pink, the plastic. The milk inside is white. That is slightly cooler. Okay. <laughs> I'll look at that in a minute. So here's our sticker. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have showed that. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> oh well, now we know who it is anyway. Sorry guys, Jen failed. It happens. So now that we have our sticker, we kind of see who we're gonna get. Looks like it's gonna be a sleepy unicorn. And our ball chains are purple and pink in there. I'm not even about to struggle with this blind bag though, so let me just cut that off. Here's our unicorn. She's really, really cute. She's asleep. She's all white, but she has a pink and purple mane with a whole bunch of little tiny yellow stars in them. She got a blue, yellow, and pink horn, and a little blue bow and rainbow are clipped in her hair. And then her tail is just pink with yellow stars. She's got pink hooves and little tiny spots in the front to be hooves. She's actually super cute, and she's got little bits of pink in her ears. Let's give her a little bit of squeezies. You're probably like, Jen, stop bothering her. She's trying to sleep. Gosh. Now I'll give her a smell and see if she has a new scent compared to last time. It smells kind of fruity, but more like a perfume smell. Here is one of the smushies I previously got, and it smells more like grapes. So it is a different scent. I just don't know what. Put that back there and get our bestie. Here's our bestie. It's just a pink swirl of whipped cream with a blue bow and a yellow, blue, and pink horn. It's a different pattern of horn, but they clearly belong together. This one's harder to squeeze. It's such an awkward shape. Let's give it a... Here's our checklist. It looks like there are gonna be eight in this collection. And we got Ronnie Rainbow Corn with Carissa Unicorn Cream. There's only one ultra rare and one rare this time. The activity on the back is a search and find and you're looking for all of those besties and they're hidden in this picture somewhere. Dee, dee, dee. Now I'll just put those back in there and we'll move on to our next one. This time we have pink cream with a red straw and a red and pink ball chain. Here's our smushy and here's our bestie. This is really cute and so soft. I'm gonna try not to squish it right now. This is the palest bluish gray I've ever seen. It's a very nice color. There's pink whipped cream on top with red bow, a red strawberry, and three little pink hearts. The paws have pink on them so that they stand out from the rest of the body because it's all kind of one color. And now we can get to the softness. What do you do with things you love? You pinch them, of course, to watch them rise. Yeah. Okay, well, a foot's not gonna give you a good slow rise. Ooh. Does it smell any different? This one smells kind of chocolatey. Here is the bestie. Those eyebrows though. <laughs> it is a pink whipped cream with a white bow and some red glasses. At first I thought they were hearts, but now that I'm seeing these monstrous eyebrows, I'm thinking, because I'm smart, that they're supposed to be red strawberries and that those are the leaves because Jen's a genius. Kiki. She smells a bit like strawberries. According to my handy dandy list here, we have Ava Arctic Fox and Starla Strawberry Cream. That could explain why she kind of smells like strawberries. I wish that they would have mentioned underneath each one what the scent was so that we're not just guessing like crazy people. And there's our sticker. And it says bestest bestie. So nobody else is as bestie, what? <laughs> nobody else is besties better than these besties, okay? So it looks like they ditched the name tag this time around. They were really useless anyways. They already come with names and it's not like I was attaching my name to anything because if I lose them, not only do you now have my toy, but you know my name. So you're like mocking me like, ha ha, sucks to be you, Jen. I got your toy. And finally, our last smushy from that creamy, dreamy surprise box. This is the green one. Ooh, that's so pretty. We have green cream with a pink and a teal ball chain inside with a purple straw. Have a drink. Sippy, sippy. Ah. <laughs> There's our bestie and our pet. Mm, let's see what is inside. Looks like 
Wait a minute. Is this that polar bear? It is the polar bear. Ooh, we got the ultra rare. Porsche polar bear. Polar bear. What? Jen can't spoke. Yeah, that's a word. Deal with it. <laughs> All right. Looks like we got Porsche, the ultra rare polar bear. She is so soft. I'm trying to not squish her as I hold her. She has got green whipped cream on top with what looks like five purple blueberries or some kind of something. And then a little chocolate bar. She is all white, a little tiny cotton tail, two ears with a little bit of pink in them, two big back paws, and two tiny front paws. And her eyes are like, shh. You know, if eyes made a sound. <laughs> Let's give her a squish. I don't know why I always start with the foot. It's not really gonna rise much. I always find it's harder to show off the squish and rise on a white squishy because you don't see any of the colors. Wow, that looks so funny when it's coming up. It looks all derpy. <laughs> Let's see what this smells like. Considering her friend is named Millie Mint Chip, I'm gonna be really bummed out if this does not smell like mint chocolate. And it definitely doesn't. Wait, what does that smell like? It smells kind of like watermelon. What? That's weird. Moving on to the bestie. We have Millie Mint Chip, and she is so cute. She is green, but she's on the lighter side of a minty green. I'm gonna go with I love her. She looks like she has a purple raspberry in her head, and that same little chocolate bar. That's pretty much all there is to her, so. Give her squish. She looks like a little poo with chocolate on it, because that's all they look like. <laughs> Whipped cream swirls or poop. Very cute. Let's move on to this box. It is so cute. This one reminds me of Rainbow Dash. <gasps> Wait, there's a deer and whatever that is with a sick looking lollipop. What? And the bunny and a giraffe and a mustachioed lollipop <gasps> and an octopus. Anyways, let's open this up. Sugar fix. Now, just remember a whole ton of bubble gum fell out of the package. That was wasteful. We're not super thrilled about that. Oh, this time I get four. All right, I see where they were going with the bubble gum because these are in the shape of bubble gum dispensers. I gave them points for creativity, not so much for being wasteful. And look, there's one left. There's a whole bunch more of that snowy glitter in the bottom of this, but since it's white, you probably can't see it, but it's on my hands. Do you dare me to eat it? I'm gonna eat it. Nom, nom, nom. Hey, wait a minute. These ones didn't have tags on them. Did they just forget them or what? All right, I spit the gum out. Tasted gross. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. These are actually adorable. I see why they added the tags on this one versus the other one, because this time around, the plastic is covered in really cute stuff. So there's a whole bunch of candies and little jelly beans and such and covered it in the characters which now makes the tag make sense not for children under three as we already know blah 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 inside we're gonna get the gumball container a mini gumball container there's gonna be a scratch card game a smushy pet the mystery bestie and a sticker and just like the last series there are eight to collect also I skipped up here where it says that there's new scents we'll have to test for that again I kind of don't want to rip off this label though it's really cute maybe I'll just leave one unopened I think I'm gonna not open the red one because it's so classically red gumball machine Makes sense, right? So I'm gonna open these ones and get rid of more snow. Ugh, snow. Instead of using my new snapping magic powers, I'm gonna try to slit underneath here and maybe we can just twist it off without getting rid of the plastic. Maybe that'll stay. Is that enough? No, it definitely has to come off, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, they're super hard to open and I used scissors. Ugh. I'm going to check this out real quick. So on the back it says smushy mushy. There's cool ropey looking plastic ropes and hearts and dots. <laughs> and there's a little twisty bonbon on the front. And let's unscrew the globe to remove our squishy. Ooh, there's a candy on the front. It's a giraffe! Is he sticking his tongue out at us? Nope, it's blowing bubbles. This is a round bulbous giraffe. It is light yellow with brownish orange spots all over. And it's hard to tell, but it's wearing either headphones or ear warmers. Either way, it's got a red strap and two mints on the side. This one is blue and white, and this one is purple and white. And it looks like it was chewing bubble gum and is in the middle of blowing a pink bubble. Pop. I'm not sure I'm a fan of this one because the way the spot is and the tiny little pinprick eye, it kind of just looks like it's a creeped out something or other sticking a weird tongue out at us. I'm not sure I'm so much a fan of this one. He's actually a lot firmer than the other squishies. He's rising really quick. Here's the checklist. Give that a look in a minute after I open my bestie. 
my gosh, we got the lollipop with the mustache. Yay. Oh, I didn't even test this one. It smells like grapes. So it's not exactly a new scent. It smells like my old one. All right, try that again. Yay, we got the lollipop with the mustache. It also smells like grapes. It's a purple lollipop with a white swirl and a cute little mustache and a red bow tie. And guess what, guys? You know it's coming. Bow ties are cool. Here's our little mini gumball machine, and this is actually really cute. It looks like the dome is a thicker plastic. It makes it look more real. It's really cool. Our ball chains are purple and orange. I actually really, really like these little mini gumball machines. And it's covered in the exact same patterns as the big version, so it's literally identical. Here's our sticker. It says Jillian Giraffe. I'm gonna take an educated guess here and uh, say maybe our giraffe's name is Jillian. If I get it right, you all have to subscribe. And if I get it wrong, you need to subscribe because you feel sorry for me. And uh, I'm sticking with that. Here we go. I'm gonna check this out first because this is kind of cool. It's a smushy mushy bingo. Basically, we're supposed to scratch all of these on top to find out the caller's cards and they're all besties. And then whatever up here matches down in our bingo ticket, we'd scratch those off plus the free space, which would reveal our download code so you can get a free prize in their in-app game. But I'm not reviewing that, so that's all you. Also, I just want to point out, I mean, it's not intended that way, so it seems like a stretch. However, these remind me very much of scratch tickets, which is definitely a form of gambling, so I'm not exactly thrilled about that because it makes it seem fun and appealing, but whatever. Here is our checklist. Ooh, get your subscriber clickers ready because Jen was totally right. Her name is Jillian Giraffe and her friend's name is Porter Pops. The rare is gonna be Belinda Bat with Dottie Delish and that will glow in the dark. And then Selena Seal and Casey Cornball are the ultra rare team and they also glow in the dark. Looks like the three that I want are Olivia Octopus, Felina Fawn, and is that Uma? Cause that'd be funny, like, I'm a unicorn. <laughs> I want those three. And on the back, there is a find the imposter game. So basically you just discover which one's not the real one. Pretty cool. And once again, there is no name tag. Since this one was so hard to open, I think I'm gonna go back to my snap magic because it's easier. See how easy that was? And now this one. Perfect. We'll do the purple first. Looks the exact same as the blue one, except the candy is yellow and pink this time. Here's our little gumball machine, so cute. I actually honestly really do love these. And the ball chains are pink and red. Here's our bestie. Dude, did I get Felina Fawn? Oh, I sure did. I sure did. Okay, here is Felina Fawn. She is a very light, creamy orange color. Her antlers and hooves are a dark brown, and her face area is a very light, peachy color. And she's got a purple bow with a pink and red and purple and yellow lollipop on her head. Because you're not really living if you don't have lollipops in your hair, obviously. There we go. That's a slower rise than the giraffe, so that's nice. And I can smell it from here. It's got that same grape smell. So whatever the new scent is, it's not on that one. Time for the bestie. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's a pink and purple pack of bubble gum. Its name is Gracie Gum. It's pretty thin, so there's not much of a rise to it, but it's really cute. And it also smells grapey, but it smells like Hubba Bubba grape. It's a very distinctive grape. It smells really good, actually. We've already looked at the checklist and the bingo games, so we don't need to do that again. And here's our sticker, and it says Felina Fawn. I'm gonna put her up here so we can actually see her. This is a really cute way to display them, but you gotta hope that it twists in the right direction. Nope, I'm gonna have to turn her. Good enough for me. And our third machine. This one's heavy. <gasps> Yay! Oh my gosh, she totally reminds me of Rainbow Dash. Are you seeing this? She looks so aggressively coy. She smells really good, like blueberries. So this is totally Uma or Uma, who cares? I'm a unicorn. You a unicorn? No, I'm a unicorn. <laughs> Anyways, she is a very, very light powder blue. She's got pink bands around her back hooves, but not on her front ones. She's got rainbow hair, of course. Her mane is purple, blue, and green with some yellow bonbons in them. If you didn't know, bonbons are like those twisty wrapped candy. <laughs> and she's got a pink, yellow, and blue unicorn horn. And then her tail is green, blue, and purple with only one red sweet in it. She's so cute and angry looking. I already accidentally, uh, intentionally, but not on purpose, squished her. <laughs> we'll give her a squeeze anyway. She's got a sorta of quick rise.
She smells kind of like a mix between grape and blueberry. Here's our mini pink gumball machine. This one's actually different. Look at that. The candy on this one is a wrapped up purple mint. On this one, it is white and red. They totally messed that up. Oh my gosh. This is the bestie. It's literally a cup full of cotton candy and it's wearing a purple heart eye patch. I feel like his name should have had Captain in it. Captain Sweethead or something. <laughs> but it's Flossy Fluff. Ooh, it's got a good wrinkle to it. It's got a pretty good rise too, actually. And it has the same scent as the unicorn. There we go. Look, once I put it inside the dome, it looks like it's blasting off into outer space. <laughs> like a helmet. Oh, that's funny. Now I feel like I should open this one. Should I do it? I don't know why I'm asking you. You don't know. I probably should. Where's my sticker? Give me my sticker. Uma unicorn. Uma unicorn. I feel like it's like Uma Thurman, so Uma unicorn. It is, okay? I like to say Uma. It's funnier. Uma unicorn. All right, guys, you talked me into it. I heard all your wishes. I'll open this one, but with magic, of course. Ta-da! Where has this magic been all my life? We have a red gumball machine with a pink and blue candy on the front. This seems really squishy and bumpy, so I'm gonna say it's a hedgehog. And it is the hedgehog. Oh, it's crazy cute too. Oh my gosh. This is Haley Hedgehog. She's a very light yellow with pink in her ears and on her paws. And she's got candy cane themed eyeglasses on. So they're red and white and they're really cute. And she's got a pink wrapped candy in her hair. Let's give her a squeeze. She's super thick. So you'd think she'd have a good, nice slow rise. Oh, it's pretty decent. Hedgehogs are like literally the cutest thing amongst all the other cute things, to be honest. What does she smell like? Okay, I can smell her very strong. She is a different scent. She is super strong artificial cherry, like a lollipop. Here's her mini gumball machine and the ball chains inside are pink and red. Time for her bestie. And that makes perfect sense that she smells like cherries because her bestie is also a cherry lollipop and her name is Libby the lollipop. She's kind of top heavy, understandably. Her bottom doesn't squish very much, but since she's so round and plump, I'm going to hope she does on top. And she does. Look at that nice wrinkle. She's got a pink heart eye patch and a yellow bow with pink polka dots on it. <laughs> and here's our sticker. It says Haley Hedgehog. This whole container reeks of cherry. Here's our fake box. On the side here, it shows what's gonna be inside. We're meant to get the main bottle, a mini bottle, sticker, smushy pet, bestie, and a name tag. And on the back, it shows us some of the mini besties. There's bakies, sweeties, and munchies. Let's find out if they actually give us any of those. Ew, 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 those feel powdery, why, why? The warnings and everything are really tiny or really blurry and it's hard to see. This is basically as good as it gets. My hands are covered in a disgusting thin powder. So I'm gonna open these and get it over with as quickly as possible. And there's a tear strip here, so, no there's not, it's a fake tear strip. And it actually looks like the LOL one, kinda. That's terrible. We can straight up see what's inside, so let's open it. Oh my God, why is there a lid that doesn't unlid? It doesn't unscrew, what? Okay, there we go, it just pulls off, okay, that's helpful. The little mini bottle that came inside is not even the same as the outside package, that's incorrect. The small container always matches the outside container. And we got two straight up silver ball chains in there. Nothing colorful and cute whatsoever. Oh my gosh. All right, the first thing I took out is not wrapped in any way and it's not even a squishy. We got an avocado. Uh, I don't know their names yet because I have no checklist as of yet and I wonder if she's even gonna be on it. But anyways, we have an avocado. Let's give her the squish test, guys. So great. Look at that slow rise. It's so slow, it's not even happening. Um, oh, it's a very light, disgusting green color. It's got the avocado pit, very bad painting on the yellow and a big pink bow. It's not scented in any way. It's literally just straight up hard plastic. We have not a sticker, but a cardboard cutout of Smushy Mushies, and that's it. And then here's our Squishy. Also known as not a Squishy. Oh, it's powdery. That's disgusting. Okay. It's like a rubber dog toy. Look at that slow rise. Wait, it's not even... <laughs> there you go. 
Yeah, that's what the squishy dreams are made of. Pretty sure this comparison is over already. And uh, now we know why we don't buy fakes. Because this is terrible. Is it at least scented? It literally smells like a dollar store dog toy. Is there at least going to be a name? Oh, wait, we did get a tag. It's just cardboard. Mine has oil spots on it. That's weird. And here's our checklist. It's the checklist for the bento boxes. What the heck? Okay. They didn't even copyright. This is like when somebody's cheating off you in a test and they didn't even get the right words. So they aren't intelligent. <laughs> All right, well, that's useless, bye. Well, anyways, in case you cared, I'm not exactly sure what type of animal this is supposed to be. Definitely a lightish orange with a white bottom. And it reminds me a little bit of a fox, to be honest. <laughs> it's got pink drippy stuff on its head, whipped cream, a strawberry, and some leaves. So if you ever got the real version of whatever smushy mushy this is, tell me the animal's name as well as what creature it was. And did it come with an avocado? Cause something tells me it doesn't. I literally don't even need to compare it. <laughs> Says mini surprise inside. The mini surprise is that you don't get a squishy. Surprise, you get a dog toy. Moving on to the next fake. And guess what? We don't even need to continue because it's the exact same. Once again, it doesn't spin off. And apparently this one doesn't pull off. What? Awesome. There's our terrible tag. Cardboard non-existent sticker. A really squished up mystery creature. It's the exact same one. It smells just like rubber. Uh, they gave us the same checklist. It's a bento's checklist. That's extra helpful. And this time we get yellow lidded ball chain container, but it's rusted or something inside. Can you see that? It's actually yellowing. It's really gross. And there's powder in there. So I'm just going to not ever touch that. And we have a very hard plastic churro dipped in chocolate. None of these are squishy. This one's totally deformed and melted in that shape. And that's the end of that comparison. Smushies win. Time to sum up my series four and five experience. I think the series four creamy dreamy stuff is really cute, especially if you get an animal that is sleeping. I liked that they continued on with the disappearing liquid like they did in the baby bottles. However, I feel like this part has got to go. It's kind of useless. As for the inside, I'm really happy that they chose to get rid of the name tag because it's really not necessary. As for the characters themselves, other than being cute, the colors are nice and vibrant. They seem pretty consistent in the painting and the slow rise is pretty great on some and needs work on a few of the others. Now we'll move on to the gumball machines. I really, really liked these. I think the look of them is really cute and I absolutely love that the mini container you get is so cute and detailed. All the imprints that are on the outside of this are also on this. They're perfect to play with your Barbies and small toys. So that's a bonus usage and I'm really happy about it. The characters and everything in them were so cute too. Another thing I really loved was the packaging on these. They were super decorated, very cute. I felt really bad peeling it off and not only just peeling it off, but mutilating it because there was no tear strip and I had to use scissors to hack it off because it just took forever to unpeel. There's no start point. There's no way to grip under Underneath and just get a good tear started. So that's frustrating. They really need to look into that. And lastly, with these guys here, I didn't get any to experience it, but they have ultra rares and rares that can glow in the dark. So if you got any of those, please let me know how long you were able to use your smushy before the glow in the dark effect wears off, because of course it is just a paint. And then these guys, I mean, the review was obviously of the smushies, which were fantastic, but I highly recommend picking up the gumball machines. Of course, I did decide to turn it into a fake versus real, and uh, this right here, this is all I need to say. They're super consistent with their terrible work. And they're totally squishies. Not. If you know somebody who loves Smushy Mushy, super cute critters, or my reviews in general, then please share this video with them. And if you enjoyed this review yourself, then please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. You can let me know down below whatever you want to say. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.